Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a message for anybody that, uh, you know, resonates. I was been, I've been going through a rough, rough time in my life. Just... just lost, just running from my truth, feeling like, um, you know, what's happening, going through a lot of spiritual warfare, feeling very, very confused and not really knowing why everything's happening the way it's happening. And I just wasn't honoring myself and I'm, I was not honoring my truth. I was feeling like it was everyone else's fault. You know, I was feeling like it was everyone else, you know, Everything but me is the problem. And in reality, that's what was the problem. What I'm understanding is that to honor your truth is everything. To honor who you really are is everything. And when you're not in that space of of knowing where, you know, when you know better and you don't do better, it's it becomes very heavy on your spirit over time because you're just moving in a direction or doing things in your life that are out of alignment with who your true soul, your true spirit is, you know? And this was a chapter the season that I needed to experience because I was just acting out of my own ignorance. I was acting out of a place like I thought I, thought I knew, right? And I think that God does that for us in our lives. He gives us... He gives us um, he gives us things and puts us in places where he will he knows it's a test, right? He knows what our spirit is and who we really are, and and he waits to see if if we if we know as well, right? Because I was in a place where I was receiving a lot of blessings and things were going well, and I was thinking that it was me that was doing it, right? But it didn't feel like my spirit didn't feel like that was where I needed to be or what I needed to be doing. But I became complacent because of the comfortability, right? And because I wasn't honoring my spirit and I was still going, it's like slowly things just kept getting a little crazier, you know, crazier and crazier. Things kept falling, like feeling like I was every day it became more clear, like I need to go a different direction. Something else needs to happen. Something needs to change. And it was not until everything fell apart, everything was on the, just hanging on by a thread in my life, you know, that I realized, okay, let's, let's try, let's try going the direction that I'm, that I've been being called to go, right? Let's answer the call to our lives. Let's answer the call to my life, right? That's, and once I started doing that, this, this really wave of peace kind of washed over me that I was so disconnected from, you know? I was so disconnected from this peace because I was honoring everything that was not me. <laughs> it was not my truth, you know? I was trying to honor others and I feel God really needed to show me that I was lost to myself because I wasn't going to see it until everything was on the brink of just being gone and taken, you know. There was a there was a lot of back and forth with myself about trying to convince myself like why I should stay in that complacent place, why I should stay in that place of, you know, not living in my truth. There was a lot, a lot of ways that I was trying to convince myself, but the spiritual warfare and the, you know, the enemies that were showing up in my life, they were, it was just becoming more and more clear, louder and louder. It's like, you can't, I couldn't um, run from the truth anymore, regardless. It became to a point where it's like, you need to, you need to see yourself for who you are because you know where you're at is not where you want to be. It's not where you're meant to be, you know? And so I had to really just stop stop avoiding my truth, you know? I think when we honor our truth and we speak our truth and we bring that into the world, it does a lot more because the ones that are meant to find you will always find you, but it does a lot more that way when you can just be honest with yourself, you know, and others and be, be a voice of truth and vulnerability for those that just, they might need it, you know? You never know who will need it, but you do know what you need. 
you know, we all know what we need as individuals. And I feel I became really closed off. I became really closed off to my truth because I was, I was fearful of being vulnerable, right? But that ended up becoming and manifesting into like a lot of spiritual warfare. And that spiritual warfare was, that's a season that we, you know, it comes in waves and it, it comes for all of us eventually if we're not really honoring God and praying and staying in alignment with our truth. And when we do, when we do that, when we come back to home, home within, and we clean house, and we take a step back, and we recognize the peace and the blessings that we have, and we recognize the peace that we have, and we recognize what, who we are, and we stay in that connection and in that frequency. That is what living life is about, living a purposeful life, a life that's meaningful to you because it's in alignment with you, not trying to fit in somewhere or make yourself fit into a box that is not meant for you, right? This is... This has been a time of my life where ignorance is bliss. That's what I, that's what I um, came to realize truly. Ignorance is bliss. To keep the wool over your eyes knowingly is bliss because you're in peace until you're not, right? And when you can take that wool off, right, and really see things for what it is and see your life for what it is and stand in that truth, regardless of what happens, you know that that is you. And that's what I had to come to realize. Like I needed to really just see myself for who I was so I can be that person, right, fearlessly. There was, there was doubt. There was doubt because of the complacency. There was doubt because of the comfortability. I was thinking that I had everything in control, right? That everything was, uh, all these blessings and all this growth, it was because I was in control and I was the one doing it. But I had to realize this was meant, this was a time where I was meant to really lose myself so I could find myself. I needed to find my real purpose and passion and power, right? And, and I'd be vulnerable again and be playful because I became so rigid and closed off to, you know, being me due to my fear of losing it all. But really, it's when, it's when you lose it all that you recognize just how far from you or ourselves that you, we can get, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm saying what I'm saying, but I'm going to say it because it's just, it's meant to be said. Mm. I'm just grateful that I could find myself throughout this chaos, throughout this process of really just understanding that I was lost because I didn't even know for the longest time. I thought everything was good because everything seemed to be going good, but it's all about our spirit, what we feel on the inside, what we know our inner world to be. If that's out of alignment, it doesn't matter how much you can pretend or or how but what your life looks like on the outside, right? If you're not in peace with you on the inside, then you don't have peace, no matter what your life looks like, you know? And this is something that it's it's a it was a hard truth for me to come to understand about myself and my life. Like, it doesn't matter what, what we can make anything look like or feel like on the outside because we know what we feel on the inside. And if it's not aligned with who we are, it's not real. <laughs> so if this resonated with you or you took anything from it, I'm glad. And I'll see you soon. Bye.